worried to keep you waiting and I do as always wonder if we are live. It's a bit of a delayed start today, sorry about that. But I think we're live. It seems like we are live. Yes, I even got the YouTube notification telling me that I'm live. Great, that's a pretty good sign that we are indeed live. Welcome, welcome to Ginza. Um, I realized I haven't streamed from Ginza in a long time. I don't think I've been here since coming back um, to Japan this time. So yeah, it's been a while. And uh, I also forgot that on weekends they close off the main street here for traffic, which is very nice. I really like that. Uh, I think at the five o'clock, then the car starts uh, running again. So, uh, yeah, I'm planning to do a kind of longish walk tonight. Watch the city go from afternoon to evening and all the nice lights come on. Uh, probably drink a beer somewhere. Um, the only thing that I don't really know yet is where I'll go. So I thought I will let you people decide that, but not yet. Because first I'm gonna at least start by covering the main street here in Ginza. That much I do know that I want to, to do. But then uh, a little bit later, I think I will let you guys be the, be the judge or vote uh, which direction you want me to, to go. It's always good to have a bunch of viewers <laughs> with strong opinions whenever I feel a little bit uh, uh, indecisive I just leave leave the responsibility up to you but I have like a few different ideas so I will give you some options thank you two minute noodle for the super chat and thank you Jenny for the super chat before the stream started and thank you Brad Ward for beer and fortitude fund thank you so much thank you everybody some sort of bell is ringing that probably means what? That it's four o'clock. Usually it's a five o'clock bell, but in Ginza it's a four o'clock bell. Or maybe it's every hour, probably every hour. I'm so stupid. May it's probably the, the clock tower up here. But yeah, as you can see, the sun is slowly starting to set. So yeah, within less than an hour, it will be dark. This is my favorite time to be out on the streets of Tokyo to see the sunset and all the lights come on. Last time I was in Ginza was a few weeks ago when I uh, purchased the phone that I'm currently using. My new iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is serving me very well. But uh, that time I didn't have time to do a stream. Oh, someone shooting with a nice camera. Oh, I like her. It's me, you know. Early bird cone fun. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> wow, you're very generous today. That's good. That makes me a little bit extra happy. I'm always happy, but I'm even more happy when you throw money at me. That makes everybody happy, doesn't it? Seems like things are back to normality. Yeah, I mean, tourists are back. Ginza is pretty much looks and feels the way it used to. No, not really. Ginza used to be pretty full of Chinese tourists and those are still not very commonly seen in uh, Japan due to the very strict travel rules in uh, China. So it's it's a bit different in that sense. Ah, they're doing a photo shoot here. Nice. With external flash and everything. I'm sure those photos will come out nice. I'm currently watching tea in IKEA. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Uh, how ironic. Good place to watch tea, I think. 
Oh, thank you, Smee, you know, again. Yeah, you even bumped up my happiness a little bit higher. Let me just zoom in. Let's see. Ah, okayri, arigato, Shima san. Arigato gozaimasu. Good, right? So, of course, we have lots of quite interesting buildings here in Ginza. All these fancy pants brands really try to outdo each other. Who can have the most, I don't know, most ambitious exterior design? Ginza is always always nice. It's actually nicer when it's dark though in my opinion. But it's it's okay this time of the day too. I really like walking around in Ginza when when it's dark outside. But then again that goes for a lot of neighborhoods in Tokyo. I don't know if there's any neighborhood actually which I don't like at night. Maybe not. I don't think so can't think of any but anyway so when we reach this crossing down here I will let you people decide which direction I should be going so I'm coming I'm walking towards the north now and if we continue walking straight up north we will reach Kyobashi and Nihonbashi and like yeah those other nice fancy shopping districts and if we continue even further we will eventually reach Kanda and Akihabara so that's what's up north um, I'm kind of tempted to head east from here this way which would take us to some of the rivers and islands in eastern Tokyo so there's for example we will cross over the Eitai Bashi, Eitai Bridge, which has a very nice view. Uh, and then if I continue a little bit further that direction, I will end up in Monzen Nakacho, which is also a pretty nice neighborhood, more like Shitamachi, but there's a nice, uh, some nice uh, older type Shotengai shopping streets, as well as um, pretty big temple. Um, or I could head west, which would take us towards Marunouchi and the Imperial Palace. So um, I will let you decide. You can vote in the chat. N for north, E for east and W for west. As always, the first option that gets five votes, five, one, two, three, four, five votes will be the one I go for. I don't think Coffee Person is here right now. I haven't checked though, but I'm not sure if he's usually here on weekends. Yeah, probably he is, but I think it might be a little bit late. But maybe some of you can uh, do a bit of research and let me know. If he's there, if he's there, I would love to go. Higashi East, West, East, East. Ooh, two, three, four, five. I think East one. So east meaning towards Eitaibashi and 
what else do we have that way it's a part like that that's an area i don't walk in terribly often so that's that's a good thing uh, but yeah hachobori uh, etc etc so east one east one go west life is peaceful there oh yes love the pet voice okay so we reached the end of the main street here in Ginza of course the street itself continues this is Chuodori after all which is a very long street it's the same central street that goes through Akihabara for example but uh, anyway let's east let's east let me just look at a map and figure out which is the, the best way to approach this. Yeah, Tsukushima is also east. That's right, I forgot about that. But that's a nice area too. So maybe... So now... Let's head to Tsukushima then. Let's head to Tsukushima and then I can head up to Eitaibashi, Monzen Nakasho in Eitaibashi. That's, that's gonna be great. Perfect. Let's do that. Let's do that. Monjayaki is east. Yeah. Can't say I'm a big fan of Monjayaki but it's hard to the east. avoid the big streets. You all know I don't like big streets. So about the length of tonight's stream I think two to three hours is what we're looking at today. I feel like I need a pretty pretty substantial walk today even though I've already spent most of the day outdoors. Went to the park this morning with my daughter and my wife. And then, yeah, we were there for a couple of hours, had a very nice little picnic lunch. And uh, then I've been just doom scrolling on my phone while my daughter was asleep for two hours. And then my wife took over and uh, yeah, now I'm here with you. Are mods able to set up poles? Good question. I have no idea. Coffee person still open? Ah, too bad I'm walking in the wrong direction. Then. Would have been great to see him, but I'm sure I'll come back to Maranochi sometime relatively soon. By the way, I hope that those of you who are my Patreon supporters I hope that you've seen the new wallpaper gallery. I'm quite happy with how that turned out uh, myself, actually. I think it looks very good. And I'm pretty sure that all of the photos that are there right now are actually photos shot with this little thing. I'm really impressed with the quality that I can get when editing those files. And it will be my constant partner on my walks through Tokyo now and I will keep updating the wallpaper gallery at least every month, maybe even often, more often than that, uh, and try to build it as a little archive where you can also like keep track of, my, of the walks I've done by looking at the photos. 
What's my favorite type of seaweed? That's a very good question. I like... <laughs> Might be a little bit boring, but I'm, I am pretty fond of good old classic wakame. But uh, I also really like mosuku. I think that's how it's called. It's common in Okinawa, especially. You often have it in soup. It's uh, very tasty. But I'm, I'm quite fond of most kinds of seaweed, actually. I mean, even a good slice of kombu can make me a bit happy from time to time. So generally, I'm all for seaweed. is certainly a nice little point and shoot. The biggest, biggest reason why I use this one for my when I'm out walking is because it's so easy like you can really uh, it, it's like built for one-handed operation so that works very well when you're when you only have two hands and the other one is constantly holding a gimbal. Yeah, Moriyama's favorite, that's right, that's right. He's been quite fond of Rico cameras throughout his entire career, I think. Wow, mini stop. We don't see mini stops so often. Actually, I was talking about that, talking to my wife about that earlier today. Uh, that like how different districts of Tokyo usually have one convenience store chain which is a little bit more common than all the other ones and uh, then we were like what what about mini stop and I was like yeah we don't see mini stop at all these days is it still around but yeah apparently it is but um, yeah it's quite rare at least in the areas where I spend most of my time I wonder if mini stop is like super common somewhere else in Japan. And like when you go to the countryside and smaller cities, you sometimes come across like chains that are super big in that local area, but completely unheard of anywhere else. That's kind of interesting too. admit that I'm not super familiar with these streets. Actually, I need to head further south. Okay. Maybe after passing this uh, highway, I will head south a few blocks though. Okay, finally green. Yeah, I mean, this stop is not so common. of mini stops in Osaka. I see. I see. Funny, I was in Osaka just a few days ago. Didn't notice many mini stops though, but I, I wasn't really thinking about it that much, so there probably was tons of them I just didn't notice. blocks this way and then a little bit south we should be able to till I reach the water yeah I think that would be more interesting actually really a Mayo person. Uh, I can't say I have like any preference. I can't really tell good Mayo from bad Mayo. <laughs> I 
I can tell good seaweed from bad seaweed, but I can't tell good mayo from bad mayo. Is that when you know that you live too, for too long in Japan? So we're heading a few more blocks this way. Well, popcorn. Mm, popcorn. Sakurabashi. Says the sign here. That feels like a name that there must be so many of. We got some uh, mini stop uh, data here. Thank you, Scott. 258 mini stops in Tokyo, 196 in Aichi, and 167 in Chiba. Wow, that's interesting. So, definitely per, per citizen, sounds like there should be much more, many more mini stops in, in uh, Nagoya than in Tokyo. We're in Chiba for that part. Interesting. Have you ever thought about slums, kind of forgotten places, walks in Japan? Uh, slums, I don't know. There's, there's a few areas in Tokyo that are kind of sometimes uh, called slums, like Sanja up in the northeastern part of the city. I'm not sure if I walked there while live streaming. Maybe not. Um, but no, not. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've been there many times without streaming, and there are lots of people in pretty bad shape on the streets, lots of alcoholics and people like that. And uh, I generally don't feel good about pointing a camera towards suffering people so yeah uh, where's today's goal I don't know I don't know I will have another vote uh, later in the stream we will see where my viewers want me to go uh, I'll, I'll leave it all up to them to that tonight And the only thing that I know for sure is that at some point I want to have a beer. That much I definitely know about today's walk. But that's about it. Everything else will be up to my viewers. I feel very indecisive today. So, okay, now we're at Hachobori Station. Which I did pass earlier this year when I did the um, uh, Hibiya Lion walk. That was earlier this year, I think. When I pass this area. I love that tiny little building squeezed between the much higher building. This could actually be a great photo if I had a more suitable lens for it and if it was a little bit darker. Let's go to the moon. viewers vote if we to take a trip to Kyoto would you do that uh, no uh, you don't have that kind of freedom I'll just give you a few options every now and then usually just north south east or west uh, I, I mean I would love to go to Kyoto uh, and I would love to have the freedom and time to let you vote for something like that uh, absolutely, but uh, 
the sad reality, or not the sad reality, but the reality is that it's a little bit difficult to do longer trips like that when you have a family at home. もんじゃ焼きは嫌いわけではないけど、もんじゃ焼きはちょっと微妙な食べ物と思います。そんなになんか多分人生で一切なんかあ、もんじゃ焼き食べたいなの気分は多分一切ないと思います。何回も食べた
So let me take a look at the map again, just to make sure that I'm not walking the completely wrong direction. No, it's good. This is good. This street, according to Google, is called River Dori, River Street. Ah, that's right, Taira Uchida. You used to live around here. I remember that. Yeah, you told me. See, it's like it's very dense. Everything is. I don't know. I think I think if I lived here, I would probably feel a little bit suffocated from time to time. To, yeah, to be so tightly crammed together with other people and buildings. Hey, Ty. Good to see you here. Hope things are well in uh, New Zealand. That's where you're from, right? If I remember correctly. And boom, we just passed 300 viewers. Thanks everybody. Hope you will enjoy this evening walk. And I hope we can triple that number of viewers because then I will give you a face reveal. The challenge still remains thousand viewers and at the same time and I will show you my face or you can just join me on Patreon <laughs> speaking of that or kind of speaking on that subject I I mean like now that tourists are starting to come back to Japan and uh, I get so many requests for like photo shoots and whatnot uh, I think it's really time to start organizing some like real life events here in Tokyo for visitors uh, or for people who live here. After all, like the most common country among my viewers is actually Japan. So I guess there's lots of Japanese viewers lurking in the chat uh, as well. But uh, anyway, I think from December I will start with some smaller little event. Uh, either like some sort of like photo walk or some sort of dinner meet up or maybe a little cafe hopping tour or something like that. I have a few ideas or a combination of those things. So yeah, of course I will announce the details first of all to my patrons but uh, eventually I plan to make these available for anyone who watches this channel or who is interested so um, I'll probably do a little patreon only stream sometime soon and like just bounce some ideas with you to get some some of yours feed your feedback about it but uh, yeah I hope I can start something maybe once every month or every two weeks uh, starting from December that would be great fun and it seems like there's still there's already uh, some of my viewers are already in Japan or on your way to Japan I mean since the borders opened it's not even been a month and I met what three four of my viewers already in this short little time that's kind of kind of uh, nice Another thing that's nice is this very old building with the red roof. I like this. Um, DDR competition. I think that might be a little bit too niche. However, if you are a DDR player who wants to challenge me on a game, I'm always down for that. So just let me know and I'll be happy to do a match with you. Absolutely. Uh, as a regular thing though, maybe it's not the ideal. I wonder if I can pass through here. Let's see. Ooh, we have at least a nice skyline view here. Uh, are you permanently back in Japan now? Yeah, 
yeah I mean permanently is a strong word and I don't like strong words but uh, I'll be here for the time being absolutely oh, nice look at the colors of the sky beautiful This might be the thumbnail for tonight's video. Who knows? How long do I intend to stay in Japan? Yeah, at least until next summer. That's the bare minimum. I wonder if I can, yeah, I can walk down here. Actually, so the Monja Street should be like on that island actually. Let's see if we can figure out a way to get there. So quiet, yeah. I will change to the main camera just because it's a little bit better at rendering colors when the light is starting to get lower. Yeah, this is a very kind of residential neighborhood around here. So just a relatively short walk from Ginza not a bad place to live absolutely not and that's the what's it called again this boat the futuristic space boat it has a more proper name which I don't remember right now though why no people here yeah good question like the only people here are people living here and they probably you know they can enjoy this view every night so maybe it's not so special to them new to Tokyo I would have loved to live in this kind of environment this is like what I was imagining Tokyo to be but I think I mentioned this previously on my streams but actually for a short period like two three weeks over 10 years ago, I was staying in one of the high-rises over there. Uh, me and a friend was house-sitting someone's apartment. It was pretty cool. I really enjoyed the view. The, the apartment was on the 52nd floor, if I remember correctly. And back then, wow, okay, so I, I can see it, it was in one of these buildings, the one that has like a diagonal line on the side and back then that was actually the highest residential building in Tokyo there's two buildings they're called the Z Tokyo Towers uh, and yeah back then it was the highest residential buildings in Tokyo but now as you can see there are plenty of other buildings that are even taller Tokyo changes quickly nice bridge <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you thought I was taller, Lee? <laughs> That's interesting to hear. Certainly one for the wallpaper gallery. I think there will be plenty of photos 
uh, plenty of photos coming up from today's walk in the wallpaper gallery, gallery later. So again, it's available to all my Patreon supporters who are in the wallpaper club or higher tiers. The link to my Patreon is in the video description, of course, as always. If you do enjoy my channel, great way to show your support. Sorry T, I came in late, where are you? So I started in Ginza uh, 40 minutes ago. Now I'm on my way to Tsukushima, which is famous for Monja. Uh, my viewers told me to go there. I gave them a few different options and they voted. Oops. And okay, can I actually get up here on the bridge? I hope so. Yes. Uh, so yeah, the viewers voted for me to head to this part of town. Talking about gallery, how's your merch shop do, doing? Ah, it's not doing very well. I haven't really paid it much attention, to be honest. Uh, I mean, there's a sale every now and then, but it's not... Yeah. It's, it's uh, very rare. <laughs> I should probably give it a little bit more love at some point, but I don't know. I think Patreon is more fun, and I think going on walks is more fun than maintaining a shop. So that's what I'm focusing on. a nice little sky tree view. You see? Sky tree, yay! For a while I was thinking about being ambitious tonight and walk like Ginza to Asakusa or something like that, but then I felt like, nah. I've done it before. It would be nicer to kind of something less common tonight. When you first moved to Tokyo, did you do a lot of wandering? Yeah. Yeah, I think I've always enjoyed wandering around in Tokyo. I mean, I didn't do it maybe as systematically as I'm doing now, but I've always been a fan of walking. And I remember pretty early on, my, my Japanese friends often told me that they thought I was crazy because I walk, was walking like distances that they would never walk. They would rather take the train, but I don't know. I enjoy, you just get to know a place much better when you experience it by foot. And you get to understand how everything is connected together. And uh, to me, that's really a key thing when I experience a new city. It's not just, it, not just where I live, but also when I go on vacation, I really enjoy just mindlessly wandering around. Or if I know that I want to go somewhere, then I look up like, would it be possible to walk? And... Uh, so yeah, then that's what I would do. That's that's what I would do. Yeah, this bridge is nice. I'm, to be honest, though, I'm not sure if I've ever crossed this bridge before. I don't think I have. Swim all the way in Yuritsukiji. Yeah, that's right. But Tsukiji is like down there, right? And then the new fish market is more like somewhere that way. For your food. T 
he ever finished the la last train line walk. Yeah, it's, I mean, I'm taking, I realize that I have to kind of take it easy. Like, those walks takes a lot of time to do. Uh, just to get to the starting point and back takes like an hour each way. So, uh, my schedule is pretty packed right now. I'll continue it eventually, hopefully tomorrow. That's what I'm hoping for. But, uh, yeah, most days I just don't have, you know, five hours, four or five hours to dedicate to the stream. So, that's just, that's just the way it is. And I'm not gonna have, like, bad, like, feel guilty about that. So let's, shall we walk down here and walk along the river? I think we should do that, right? We should take in this, this nice light before it gets completely dark. And then also the Monja Street looks much nicer when it's actually darker than it is right now. What's the name of this bridge? I see makes sense it is quite the ohashi ohashi means big bridge there are a lot of bridges that's called something something ohashi in japan my favorite ohashi is probably the seto seto ohashi seto naikai ohashi i don't know the exact name but the one that spans between honshu and shikoku through the seto inland sea that's a very nice bridge. Would it be possible to show your location during live stream somehow? Uh, yes, it would be possible, but I'm not gonna do it. Uh, I'll let you... I mean, I usually tell you people where I am and when I pass a station, so I think it's more fun if you have the challenge of figuring it out for yourself. Also, it feels a little bit too much like giving out my exact location as I'm live streaming. There's just something about that that makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Someone is apparently very late, like lagging behind. I just saw someone wrote in the chat like west so that person is probably watching the beginning of this stream uh, so not really watching the live <laughs> the bridge is relatively new oh is it so there was no bridge between these islands before or there was an older one and they just tore it down and built a new one Um, how was Tokyo during Halloween? Well, I think you know, like there's a million streams about it. It was very cr crowded and very crazy and a lot of people enjoy that, but that's not me. I enjoy this stream much, much more than compared to the stream I did a week ago when I went to crazy busy Shibuya during Halloween. It's just not for me. And it was funny, I posted something on Instagram about that, like, oh, thankfully Halloween is over. And then of course, immediately you get, it's like every time you write the tiniest negative thing about Japan and you always get people like, if you don't like it, then go home. <laughs> I was like, okay. So I should move, I should leave this country where I've been living for 15 years just because I don't enjoy this one event that is, Important from imported from the West. That's pretty interesting logic. Obviously, I didn't even bother debating with that guy. I just blocked him. I don't have time to deal with those kind of people. Um, does the Japanese giant salamander exist in Tokyo waters? No, I don't think so. I think that one is uh, actually it's endangered. And uh, I know that it, you can find it up in Shimane and Tottori prefectures in some rivers there. 
but I think it would not, it's not living here. I think it's very sensitive to pollution and probably the water here is just too dirty. Social media really brings out the worst amongst people. That's really a shame. But on the contrary, it also brings out a lot of good things from a lot of people. So it's not all bad. I mean, you're the reason why, or it's social media is the reason why I can go on a walk with 324 people in a random neighborhood of Tokyo and have a good time. So it's not all bad, but unfortunately, yeah. You also do have to deal with a lot of annoying, stupid people. Yeah, there's, it's really one type of people who are like, they don't let you say anything negative about Japan. And their standard response to everything is just go home. If you don't like it here, go home. Yeah, you don't like not to all go home. I think anyone who has lived here for a while have had some sort of experience like that. And just to be to be clear, this, these people saying those kind of things are times they're non-Japanese people, and probably 99% of the times they also don't live in Japan themselves. <laughs> yeah, a nice little lighthouse or whatever. And a nice little river here. Very nice color in the sky now. Actually, I remember now. Yeah, I walked here on a live stream once before. I think that was the time when I bumped into an old man walking his giant turtle on the street. That was actually... That was on the Monja street. Yeah, lights coming on. I really wish I could do more streams this time of the day because it is my favorite time to, to walk Tokyo. But at least I'm trying to do it at least one of these during the weekends. Aha, that lighthouse building, that one, that's a public restroom. Wow, very nice one. Too bad I don't need to pee, otherwise it would have been a perfect, perfect chance to try out that. Same goes for most countries. Yeah, maybe, but most countries, I think it's like the, the people actually living there who are opinionated about it. But with Japan, it's really like, I don't know, there's a certain type of people out in the world who has this idea about Japan being the perfect place where nothing is wrong or negative and they tend to be extremely vocal about it. Very nice with the sunset reflecting in the river here. I think once I get to the other side of this bridge we will have a few more photo opportunities.
they do indeed fish here. I wonder if they actually capture something. There's definitely some new wallpaper gallery shots coming up now from today's walk. Yeah, very nice reflections on the water, right? Yeah. I give a little real time update to my wife as well. I think the, the shot that I just took now, I'll upload it to Twitter as well. I'm multitasking so much when I'm doing these streams. <laughs> I'm tweeting. Just gonna embed the link as well. Share, copy link, there we go. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, tweet tweet. Oh, someone's taking photos here. Yeah, this is a great place also for like long exposure photography. Good. <laughs> long exposures? Uh, I'm doing a time lapse. Oh, nice, nice. So, uh, I've got 140 frames, I think I'll do like 400 or so and uh, ah, cool. get like a 20 second sunset and the lights coming on. Ah, great. That's a plan. We'll yeah. see how it Will goes. Will you post it somewhere? Uh, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I, I'm off social media. Ah, I see. Yes. Just for the love of the, uh, love of the game. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's it. a, I'm, I'm live streaming. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm a I'm a YouTuber, oh, cool. <laughs> so I'm just I'm just uh, doing like live walks on YouTube in various parts of Tokyo mostly, but other parts of Japan. Really? What's so, your uh, YouTube? It's called Tokyo Explorer. Tokyo Explorer. Yeah. Easy to remember. Yeah. All right, I'll check, check it out. out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he was doing a time lapse. Oops. That must come out really nice. It's it's a perfect, perfect night for a time lapse now. Looked like he had some pretty proper gear for it as well. So yeah, someone mentioned that Skybridge, right? It'd be really cool to to see the view from there. Did you see? They just switched on the lights on that bridge. And I think I really should be having a beer break here with this view. Don't you think so? Yeah, very nice guy. Would have loved to connect with him. He was off social media.
Ah, the Petronas Towers. Yeah, maybe. I haven't, I haven't seen those with my own eyes, but I can kind of see. I've seen them in photos, and yeah, I can understand the similarity. somewhere around here can you can you dear viewers help me guide me to the nearest combini i want the beer and watch the last little bit of my sunset it's, it's not sunset anymore but the last bit of twilight i guess In Germany, many lights go out on public buildings for energy saving. That's right. They're actually talking about doing that here as well. Not maybe the public building, but buildings, but more like a general, general um, request to ask people to save electricity. So from, uh, I think what they're talking about here is would be from December to March. They just ask people to be more mindful. Yeah, definitely go west for beer. If I keep going straight here, uh, or go, go left for beer, not west. Uh, if I keep on walking straight, I don't think there's any beer to be find, found. So maybe just walk up to the Monja Street and see. Oh, this is a nice playground, playground with, a, with a view. That's not very sad. left for family mart yay let's see no combini here as far as i can see just a man with a lightsaber doing his job on a Saturday night. But I would be surprised if there's no combini down here on the next block. Even better would be if I could find like a nice tachinomia or somewhere where I can just stand outside and have a beer in front of a izakaya. <laughs> Kawaii. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Oh, Mirai. Little spice, the cafe. Nice. Unfortunately, it looks like they're already closing. Too bad. Looks like a nice place otherwise. We had dinner here. Lee, I see. Did you like it? Are you back in Australia now, by the way? You left Japan already, I guess. Sorry, I couldn't get a chance to see you again. It's, it's, yeah, a lot of people actually reach out right now and want to meet. And I wish I could meet everybody. It's just that it's very difficult to find the time. All oh, my spare time is like dedicated to this channel. So here's the Mondo Street. It's quite beautiful. Can't argue about that. This is probably also one for the wallpaper gallery. Let's see if this taxi will stop blocking my view. Wonderful. Thank you, taxi. Great. So, combini, combini. Do you see a combini around here? This is what, where the turtle was. That's right, Ray. That was here. That was here, indeed. Yeah, this is a super nice little street. Here too, like the sideway, sidewalk is so wide. I wish they had like some outdoor seating where you could actually sit and eat and drink. But uh, no, we don't do that in Japan very often. So. Oh, this looks nice too. A nice little alley here. So, so. Maybe I need to check the map. That's a little supermarket behind you going south. Okay. I see. South should mean... Uh, south is this way, right? When will you show your face? When I get a thousand viewers at the same time. Get a thousand viewers at the same time, I will show my face. So, please call a thousand friends of yours. Tell them to join this live stream and uh, you will see my face. Simple as that. Feels like there should be a supermarket maybe around here. We'll find beer eventually. Here's the subway station. There has to be some sort of shop. 
near the station. I also have a hunch that there might be something even closer than that. Let's see. There's a Lawson down there. But maybe there's something just around the corner here. So here's Tsukishima Station. I just have to go down to the loss on them. Then we actually have some pretty nice areas if we continue, um, I guess, down south from here. have a favorite station in Tokyo. Uh, hmm. Not that I can think of off the top of my head like that, no. Favorite station, no. But do I? I don't know. I feel like I should have. But I can't think of any. So let's get a beer. This one or this one, Tokyo Crafts. Let's try this one. Go silent. So, now I have a beer. Why did I start talking Swedish to you? Finally, Goose Island IPA. Okay, now question is, I don't really want to head back to the same place I just came from. I guess, yeah, I guess I should head back to the Monja Street and then just walk that one all the way to the end. And then we can probably find some other place near the water where I can sit down and enjoy this 
goose goose beer. Let's see if it gives me goose bumps. Wonderful light now. Uh, oh, and I got a super chat. Thank you from John Galang. Thank you very much. Thank you for the beer money. And everybody else who has given me beer money tonight, of course. Thank you. And I say this every time, but I think it's worth saying every time. It's thanks to supporters like John and everybody else who chipped in a few dollars. It's thanks to people like them that I'm able to keep this channel running and uh, take you on walks like this every so often here in Tokyo and elsewhere. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot for that support. You mean a lot to me. And if you are watching this and if you are enjoying these walks, maybe consider joining on Patreon, or on YouTube, or at least just click the like button. Those are all very easy ways to show your support and help keep this channel running. Hard to find a seat on Monja Street. Yeah, yeah, especially on a weekend. That place is quite popular, I guess. to remember to do these like live tweetings as I go along more often. People seem to like those and I think they do manage to bring a few more viewers to the streams as well. Okay so I'll make another post when I open my beer and just tweet that. Drinking beer live on YouTube right now. Come join me. Back on the Monja Street. A few more um, wallpaper shots there. It's been a while since it's done a night stream. Not really. I do night streams pretty much every weekend. Uh, the last one I did was indeed last weekend during Halloween. I even did two night streams last weekend. Although I decided to hide one of them because I was drunk and felt embarrassed. It's still available if you know the link, but it's not publicly announced anymore. <laughs> One dollar per person would be easy to do. Yeah, imagine. If I got that, then I would be able to do this full time and travel all over the country all the time. That would be fun. And also bring my family for the ride. Not that quickly. People often say that. People seem to think that a beer gets warm after five minutes, but no. And it's not even that warm outside now, so I can probably wait half an hour and it will still be nice and, and cold to drink.
Ah, there was a supermarket here. Was this the one you referred to earlier, Lee? I just love all these side streets here as well. I don't remember walking here before. I don't know, David. Uh, maybe you didn't watch that stream, but I did come here I once in the daytime and I met an old man who was walking his pet turtle. I don't know if you've seen that stream though. It was a good one. I went down to the Olympic Village as well in that stream, which is not too far from here. In the summer, there's a little bit more. It takes quite a long time for for beer to get warm. It's another nice little side street. Like every side street here, basically. It's very looks very photogenic and inviting. David. I guess even my long-term viewers, most of you haven't really watched every stream. In that case, I would be very imp impressed. I wonder how many hours of walks there actually are on my channel. It must be like a crazy, crazy number. Oh, look, this looks even nicer. Like, it's like each side street is nicer than the previous one. Look at this. Beautiful. Lots of people waiting outside. They have a ticket system, uh, usually just a queue, like you write your name on a list and then they call everyone in order. That's usually how it's done. But it, uh, yeah, some places, no, it's, it's always like that, basically. You write your name on a list and wait until it's your turn. forward to checking out all these photos I'll probably upload them quite soon have you ever felt unwell since your last Halloween stream no no what do you mean like if I got traumatized or something? <laughs> so I was about to ask you where you want me to go now, but I think I'm just gonna decide on my own that I will continue down here until I reach the water and then I will turn left and follow the water and look for a place to sit and enjoy my beer. The 
is T E a Westerner. Yes, I am Swedish. Is this still Ginza? No, it's not. fear that crowds would be a spreader event for COVID. Yeah, I mean, maybe, but I feel pretty safe. I mean, I had COVID like two months ago, so I probably have some a bit of immunity from that. And then I also had my fourth shot a week ago, two weeks ago, when was it? No, just before the Halloween shenanigans. So that probably didn't really make any difference to me because it takes a while for the vaccine to kick in but yeah I don't know I still was infected so recently so I don't really feel very worried right now it seems like you get a few months at least of pretty good protection after catching COVID Here's another Konbini. I could have gotten a beer here, but didn't know. I wonder if I can like find a place to sit somewhere around here. That'd be nice. So yeah, we have some nice views around here too. And over there is also a big recently redeveloped area We should head a few blocks closer to there. We'll get a bit more of an interesting view. We can probably walk down here this way though. I'm sure those apartments up here. Can you see those panorama windows? They must have pretty decent views. someone really pimped out their the entrance to their boat <laughs> interesting oh, look there's a bench here but maybe a little bit too quiet for a beer break I would prefer to sit somewhere or it feels like around here I can probably find a nicer place to sit and enjoy the beer oh thank you Asante for the super chat. That's very nice of you. Appreciate it. Lots of newly built high-rise buildings around here. Which makes it, makes it a pretty cool place, actually. It's like, around here you can really find this combination of old and new Tokyo, which I really enjoy. Those crazy, crazy lit up high-rise buildings next to, you know, the old Monja street or whatever.
average lifespan of a building is 30 years. Yeah, that, that doesn't apply to like these kind of things. Those are usually uh, being kept for longer, but for like small one family homes, uh, they're usually, they basically become worthless after 30 years in many cases, not always. And of course it depends on the quality, but like the cheap, simple, uh, Japanese uh, one family homes, they usually have a lifespan of about 30 years. After that, they're just worth whatever the value of the land they stand on. Kind of crazy. It's also pretty crazy that there are still functioning payphones in this country. I love that. Really wonder whoever uses them though. They can't be used that often. Is it mandatory to rebuild? No, no. Of course, if you build a house, you're you're allowed to live there for as long as you want. Uh, it's more like when the owner dies uh, and the house goes out for sale, most people just demolish the house and build a new one rather than move in to an older house. You need a beer. I have a beer. I just need a place to sit down and enjoy it. But the beer is here with me. The Goose Island. So obviously I'm just waiting for the traffic light to turn green. And we are, by the way, next to i don't know if you can see this let's see if we can no it doesn't want to expose anyway kachidoki what happens if i zoom in there we go kachidoki station on the oedo line that's where we are What kind of world? But where do you people live who think that a beer gets warm after like 15 minutes in 15 degrees outdoor temperature? It's still nice and cold. No worries. Maybe if it was like a very hot summer day, but uh, it takes a while for a beer to get warm. You need to study physics, people. You need to learn. energy and entropy. Are you afraid of your daughter getting addicted to sugar? Um, so, so, I mean, we are very mindful about what we give her and we really try to not give her much sugary things. Uh, by the way, new high rises. No one has even moved in yet. They're all dark. Um, so it's a bit of a concern, but I'm not, overly worried about it now. Oh, thank you Mars Martian. <laughs> Thanks for sharing a night in Tokyo. I was there many years ago and I still love it. Thank you. Yeah. Tokyo nights are wonderful. Very nice 
thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, what else are you saying? with the staircase kind of well lit up and exposed. I like that. So now we're crossing another bridge. Don't know what this one is called, but I think around here I should be able to get close to the water and finally have my beer break. So this now Olympic Nomura Olympic Sensumura Chikai this now. So we're getting close to the Olympic Village. I believe Olympic Village is like down this way. It's a nice little cone gathering by the way. There were some nice spots around the water here. That would be a perfect spot for a beer. Harumi, yeah, that's right, that's the name of this area. Oh, look, they also have a very meaningful and beautiful cone installation here next to the waterfront. Um, so yeah, Harumi is the name of this. I don't know if it's the name of the island or the area or whatever, but this is also one of the neighborhoods where there have been lots of redevelopments in the last 10 years or so. And we just passed 400 viewers. Wonderful. And look, there are benches. Benches nice view perfect perfect place for a beer break and then we have a nice little walking bridge that we can use to return Here, perfect, wow. Couldn't have asked for anything more than this. Perfect spot for a beer. So let me just snap a few photos. Do a little beer break tweet and see if we can complete this beer break with maybe not losing too many viewers because we're at 440 now that's a nice number so please be patient people I walked for almost two hours i think i deserve a little break. don't you think
Okay. Okay, okay. Let me just tweet this and then I will open the beer. Okay, let's see. Kapai, oh, it's been shaken for a while <laughs> as I was walking. Mmm, good one. Very tasty. I think, it, I think I've never had this one before. But I will definitely remember it. Goose Island IPA. Very tasty. So now I will try to focus a little bit more on the chat for a while. See what you're all saying. Uh, Kampai, what's the percentage of alcohol? It's, uh, what is it? 6%. 355 milliliters. trying to figure out which way I should aim the camera. Which way has the best view? Maybe this, a bit of lens flare, a little bit of ghost buildings and modern high rises. Oishii ne? Oishii oishii. Dororo-san, oishii. Uh, 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 uh. Can you hear me well? I'm sitting a little bit long, further away from the uh, mic right now, but hopefully you can hear me. Um. Yeah, I think this view is okay for a beer break, right? At least there's something happening. I have the, the mother of all lens flares in the middle of the frame as well. Kampai! Um. <laughs> yeah, I got three new Twitter followers since tweeting about my beer break. That's pretty pretty good. Oh, four now. If you're visiting, if you found me through my beer tweet, and this is the first time you're visiting my channel, then please say hi in the chat. It would be great to know. Uh, oh, thank you, Terry. Thank you so much for the generous super chat. Beer fund. Hope to see you soon in Japan. Yes. Are you coming? Are you planning a trip or have you already booked one? Uh, never drink beer directly from the cab. Yeah, it's not my favorite way of drinking it. I don't. I prefer drinking it from from a glass or a bottle. But uh, when I stream, cans are pretty handy. Um, so people are interested in beer talk on Twitter, but not on YouTube. Yeah, I don't know. I lost 50 viewers since starting my beer break already. So apparently not. Mm. As a Japanese, people make fun of me for not liking beer sometimes, but I love kind of chuhai. I can never get enough. Chuhai is, chuhai is dangerous, but yeah. I used to have chuhai quite often before, but these days I'm sticking to beer. Uh, thank you, Colin, for the for the super chat. Thank you. Cheers. Kampai. I should get more endorsements from Rakten and Yona Yona Ale. Yeah, yeah. If you are working for Rakten or Yona Yona Ale and want to sponsor my channel, please send me a message. <laughs> People are really leaving when I have my beer break, nah? 
already almost lost a hundred viewers in what five minutes. That's crazy. People are so impatient. Anyway, I'm not gonna let them dictate my beer breaks. If I wanna have a beer when I stream, I'll have a beer when I stream. Damn it. So where should we go after this? Uh, what's my battery status? I'm exactly at 50% battery now. So we walked for an hour and 47 minutes. That means we can walk for another hour and 47 minutes. Um, maybe we can try to figure out where to walk together now during this beer break. If you want to know where I am right now, uh, the nearest train station is... Let's see, can you see this? Kachidoki station. Uh, it doesn't want to focus. Uh, anyway, I'm here. Near Kachidoki station. So, uh, I'm open to suggestions. Where to walk from here. kind of feels a little bit like we're at some sort of dead end right now but not really but yeah we're actually close to the Eureka moment that I did uh, I walked the entire Eureka moment in one go a while ago that was fun um, towards Tokyo Tower Tokyo Tower is too far from here uh, Tokyo Tower is near Rohongi it's very far uh, from where I am right now actually uh, what time is it there? It's currently 5.45, so it's not even late. Um, I'm having a blast and thanks to tea, I feel I know my way around a bit. Yay, thank you, Jordan. Thank you. I hope that some of you feel that you've opened um, like that I've opened your your um, view of Tokyo a little bit and that you maybe know the city a little bit better thanks to my walks that's great are you open to stream sniping I mean I generally like when people come up and say hi when I stream uh, as long as they do it in a nice way so Odaiba, yeah, I guess I could head to Odaiba. Uh, Toyosu is also near. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe I should head towards Odaiba. That could be fun, I guess. And then I can walk quite a lot along the water as well. So that's a big plus. Yeah. And it would be kind of nice to end the, the stream at like Odaiba Beach or something. Yeah. Should we do that? Should we walk to Odaiba? 4.3 kilometers from here. Another hour. How's Mini Explorer doing? Oh, she's doing great. She is doing great. We were in the park today. Uh, again, we always go to the park um, when we have a day off and we had a nice little picnic. So, uh, it was lovely. It was lovely. Yeah, here's me and Mini Explorer having picnic in the park earlier today. I really love that and she is so cute when she's in the park she loves exploring and she loves picking sticks and acorns and whatever and today we actually had a bit of an episode this morning in our in our uh, living room 
Um, so um, we, yeah, I, I think I was, I don't know, I was, I was doing something in the kitchen and my daughter was like watching some children's show on TV uh, and then suddenly she was like, oh, are, are, which means like, oh, that, that thing, that thing, and was pointing on the floor and um, uh, it was a cockroach. We we live in a relatively new building and on a pretty high floor so we don't have cockroaches very often um, but uh, yeah this was like the biggest one I've seen in our house so far it was about I don't know a few centimeters long um, so uh, yeah I took down my daughter and like put her on the floor and we went really up close and had a look at it and I tried to explain what it was uh, and uh, she really enjoyed watching that little cockroach it was very cute she was not scared at all uh, and then I took it out took it with my took a plastic bag over my hand and took the cockroach and threw it out from the balcony before my wife could see it because she hates them and she would probably panic if she could see it so yeah uh, yeah well i mean they're inevitable actually like the, the place i told you like i was staying on the 50th something floor of a newly built building about 10 years ago and even there we had a cockroach actually so there you cannot escape them i mean if you're living on ground floor of an old building they're super common uh, but uh, they will get to you eventually sooner or later uh, i personally i mean i don't like them but I don't mind them either like they're harmless so um, but uh, yeah uh, anyway let's keep let's continue the walk now I've had my my beer break there's just a few sips left does Sweden have cockroaches no we don't have cockroaches in Sweden Mm. A great Instagram photo of me exploring your acorn hunt. Ah, oh, you mean Twitter, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Does your kids have your hair or mother hair? I think uh, my daughter has my hair. Uh, yeah. My hair more than her mother's. finish the beer. Let's continue the walk. So Odaiba. Can we make it all the way to Odaiba? It is a bit far. Undoubtedly. Uh, I think we can make it there. It'll be a nice little evening walk. Children learn from the parents. That's very right. That's very correct. And that's also like I, I want my daughter to be curious and not afraid as, at least as long as it's not something that's actually dangerous so uh, yeah that's when that's why i kind of wanted to show her to have a curious approach to the cockroach rather than just to kind of be afraid of it or scream or something like that yeah well daiba is nice at night indeed it is it is It really feels like it's super late, but it's not even six o'clock yet. <laughs> Mars Martian, <laughs> you can do it. Thank you. Yeah, 
thanks to the super chat from you and from everybody else you really like you know you give me inspiration you make me like when i have when i get some super chats that makes me more willing to continue the stream because it feels like that's a sign of how much you appreciate it and then i want to be extra nice to you in return so uh, yeah everybody in the chat should thank everybody who has super chatted because it's thanks to those people that i can that i decided to continue walking now rather than wave goodbye to you at the two hour mark which is already a pretty late pretty long stream Let me take a look at the map, just figure out... Pause... Map... I can actually walk down a few blocks here, so let's do that. And there's a smaller bridge, a smaller street, which I think will be nicer. One thing, uh, I think I told you, right? I picked up the Google Pixel 6 a few days ago, uh, which is a very nice phone that I enjoy using quite a lot. And especially places like this, because it has this quite night, nice uh, function. I will show it to you. Yeah, you can get this motion blur photos. Oops. Oops. That always happens to me. This is quite impressive. Like as a photographer, you know, before, if I wanted to take photos like this, I really needed to carry a tripod with me. To be able to do that in the phone is uh, really, really uh, a nice thing. Not the Pixel 7, no. Um, I just, I found, it was a very spontaneous purchase. I found a very cheap Pixel 6 when I was like browsing one of my favorite gadget shops. Uh, it was like 40,000 yen, which is like what? 200, 300, less than 300 US dollars um, for the regular vanilla Pixel 6. And uh, I've always enjoyed Pixel phones because I think the camera is really the best mobile, fa mobile camera among all phones for still photos. So uh, yeah, I decided to pick it up. And now I'm kind of like contemplating like, hmm, should I actually get the Pixel 7? Because I really like this phone so much. Actually, I use it. Like, I mean, I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but I actually, prefer to use the Pixel because the 14 Pro Max is just too big and bulky. It's great for streaming, but to me the iPhone is like my work tool and the Pixel is like my the phone that I use like yeah for my private stuff. Uh, so I really uh, I really like the Pixel phones and and uh, the Pixel 7 I'm not interested in the Pixel 7 Pro. I want the regular Pixel 7 because it's even slightly smaller than the Pixel 6. And uh, I think that's nice. At big camera, no. Uh, at uh, IOSIS, it's a chain 
of phones, that, uh, uh, shops that specialize is in used phones. So um, that's where I got it. Uh, are there spiders in Tokyo? Yes, there are spiders in Tokyo. Uh, I don't think there's any poisonous spiders, but there are, there are spiders for sure. As soon as you go go into like any park or green space, you, you see these pretty big. Like, I mean, I'm coming from Sweden. For some I'm from Australia, they're not big, but for a Swede, they're like yeah, they're this big, yellow and black. They look like they should be dangerous, but they aren't. Camera Sony question mark. Uh, I don't understand the question, but uh, the camera I use for my work is a Nikon. The camera I use when I stream is a Ricoh GR3, which it's too dark to see. And then I have a Sony RX1 that I use a lot when I'm just on outings with my family. Uh, but that's, that's the only Sony camera I have. Yeah, I'm a Nikon guy, my main photography brand is Nikon. Did you see any snakes since the last time? No, no. I think that time when I saw a snake in the tree. Oh, I saw a snake close to my house about a year ago, maybe. Uh, so yeah, that happened a while ago. Snakes are pretty rare in Tokyo. I don't see them very often. Sweden have spiders, yes. Sweden has spiders, absolutely. It gets dark early in Tokyo. Yeah, it does. It gets dark at five this time of the year. So that's pretty early. hungry. I wonder if I should end today's stream with some sort of meal in front of the camera or if I should wait until I'm done and have dinner afterwards. Why am I waiting for so long? Yeah, there's no poisonous spiders in Sweden. Oh, but I heard that now this one is starting to appear. The the poisonous one, uh, what's it called? Svarta enkan på svenska. That one has been seen in Sweden a couple of times recently. So maybe because of climate change, it starts to get foretold in Sweden. No, it was not a press crossing, no. <laughs> it was just a very slow crossing. Again. Just to make sure that I'm not. Yeah, okay. So here's. Wow, it's a pretty big. This is the post office. Harumi post office. What a big one. Sweden have bidet in toilet? No, we don't. Our Swedes walk around with dirty butts. It's disgusting. After living in Japan, I can't stand it. 
can't stand it. It's awful. Posted link to Pixel 7 article on Patreon. Thank you. Yes. I will check it out. I think I've already probably read everything that's been written about the Pixel 7 and probably watched every YouTube video about it too. It's really like a minor upgrade from the Pixel 6, but I like the fact that it's slightly smaller. That's kind of like the main selling point. How much is 10 Australian dollars in Japanese yen? How much is 10 Japanese... No, 10 Australian do... Okay. How much is 10 Australian dollars in Japanese yen? Siri doesn't want to listen to me. How much is 10 Australian dollars in Japanese yen? Siri is lazy today. I'll try one more time. How much is 10 Australian dollars in... Siri stupid. I'm not gonna talk to Siri anymore. I hate Siri. Siri's insulting me. Uh-oh, looks like this might be a... Stupid Siri. Google Assistant is much better than Siri. At least Google Assistant understands me and likes me for who I am. Yeah, I break up with Siri. This cross dock harumi looks like it could be. Mm -hmm. What is this place? It looks like it could be like a share office or something, or an art gallery. Kind of unclear. Oh, okay, but there is a... Okay. This bridge was much bigger than I expected, but at least we can walk across it. Nice. Nice, nice. People still ask Siri. I don't use Siri much. I use Google Assistant quite a lot, though. I have a, Google, a couple of Google Home speakers at home. I use one every morning when I wake up listen to the morning news from Sweden and a bunch of other countries it's quite quite handy I gladly give up all my privacy to Google in order to be able to get told the morning news without pressing a button it's a perfectly fine uh, transaction <laughs> uh, but yeah Siri no I never really use Siri
I wonder, is that the Eureka Mome? I see a train over there. Maybe that's the Eureka Mome. That's the Rainbow Bridge over there, isn't it? <laughs> Looks like some pretty major redevelopment. Is... At least they're building something here. This waterfront area is quite nice. Beautiful view. And wide spaces for pedestrians to walk, to roam around. Very nice place this. I'm pretty sure I've never crossed this bridge before. So many firsts tonight. Home battery is still doing okay. We're down to 38% now. So I think we're okay. I'm not overly concerned right now. Super chats have definitely slowed down. Yeah, it almost feels like you people want me to end the stream here and now. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, I guess it's the upcoming financial crisis that's making everybody anxious because there's a pretty significant decrease in super chats compared to a year ago. to the beginning of this stream today. That's what I have over there. Oh, well, this would have been a pretty nice place for a beer break too. Where do you prefer to live in Japan if job doesn't matter? Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I honestly don't know. Like, in many ways, like, I genuinely and honestly think that Tokyo is like the perfect big city. Like, I can't imagine a big city uh, that, like, gives me the things I appreciate more. 
than Tokyo. That being said, I've lived here for quite a while now, almost 15 years. So, that I would like to try life in Osaka at some point. I also have a very favorable impression of uh, both Kyoto and Hiroshima and Fukuoka. And I also have a little dream of just relocating to some small island in the Seto Inland Sea one day. So uh, yeah, a little bit of everything. There's, there's a lot of places. And uh, that I would like to try. But I do also suspect that if I were to live, if I were to move somewhere else, maybe the chance is pretty big that I would end up coming back to Japan after a while. Oh look, and we have Toka Sky Tree here too. I mean, that can only be seen in Tokyo. So I, I really love this city. Like it's it's uh, you know it has its problems, of course, just like any place. But uh, in general, I think Tokyo is a pretty good place to live. And uh, it just get get so many important things so right. Um, are you using Twitter? <laughs> yes. Uh, the link is, there's a link to my Twitter in the video description. So for those of you who hasn't followed me yet. Here's my Twitter, Tokyo Explorer. There you can see the username, Tokyo Expl. So yeah, please join me if you haven't already. Intense Eye and Marcus Lam, thank you so much for the super chats. More steps on the way, yes. Thank you, thank you for the motivation. another um, long exposure shot now with these boats. そうね。と、Yakatabune almost all went back up during the coronavirus. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yakatabune are those uh, colorful boats that we just saw. Uh, when we get to Odaiba, you will see tons of them. Uh, so they're actually like rental party boats that you can rent and have a private party. 
uh, and obviously they depend a lot on tourism so they were struggling quite a lot but hopefully they are starting to see the end of the light at the end of the tunnel now I wish that I was walking on the opposite side of the street of the bridge though. Then we would get the rainbow bridge view. And I think here there's some sort of outdoor restaurant or, or a barbecue maybe. I did barbecue around here some at one time many years ago. Maybe it was down there. I don't remember. Approaching Shijou Maya Station. Thank you, Lee Kramer. That's on the Eureka Moment, right? I really don't know this area very well myself. Don't come here. It's, uh, it, this, this feels a little bit exotic even to me as a long-term Tokyo resident, but probably I don't know, I've probably been to Odaiba less than 10 times during my time in Japan. It's just not like a place that I randomly just go. It's, it's more like, I don't know. It's a little bit inconvenient to get there and, and uh, home. So it will be a bit inconvenient for me to get home tonight. see some talk about other cities Mexico City never been to Mexico City but yeah I mean even compared to Stockholm which isn't really a big city but like everything just works so much better here in Tokyo than in Stockholm and uh, I can imagine that that difference is even stronger in like yeah many other big cities Tokyo has a lot of good things going for it. And, uh, I think it is, a, in many ways, a very good place to live. So here, I kind of want to go down to ground level and uh, walk next to the water. I should be able to do that. Yeah, it looks like I can. It looks like I can. I'm actually getting really hungry, folks. Would you mind if I do like a combini bento dinner or something during the stream? Actually, we always have dinner at home at 6.30 and that's the time it's 6 30 now almost a little bit here <laughs> sad convenient dinner set yeah i think i think it always becomes sad if you buy your dinner at the convenient there's nothing such as a non-sad kombini dinner set. Like it's always gonna be sad. Like all kombini dinners are sad. But you know me, I like sad things. So a sad dinner is not by no means a bad dinner. <laughs> I kind of enjoy to indulge in sadness from time to time. Oh, actually, we can see the tip of Tokyo Tower.
How's the image quality, by the way? I have like the brightness on my screen turned way down in order to conserve battery. You, obviously we're walking on pretty dark streets right now, so it's gonna Brightness is okay. Good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this looks like such a nice place to, to go on a bike ride. It's like really wide. You can just bike as fast as you can. Nina. Actually, now I'm kind of starting to see the charm of this side of town as well. It's super urban, yes, but you still have like plenty of open spaces and the proximity to the water makes it feel like, yeah, it's not, it's not, I don't feel suffocated here. Look, is this the Senshimura? Is this the Olympic Village? Have people still not moved in? Wow, look, every, everything is pitch black. Wow, can you imagine? There's like thousands of apartments and each is worth a small fortune and it's just sitting empty. Wow, it looks almost like, I don't know, it looks surreal that everything is dark. signal is a bit weak around here though. Yeah, it looks really eerie. I wonder why? I mean, it's been well over a year since the, since the Paralympics. Why hasn't people moved in yet? Because I know that most of these apartments were sold even like way before the Olympics on the condition that, you know, yeah, you can't move in until after the Olympics. And then a lot of people got really upset when the Olympics got delayed by one year. But uh, to see it like completely empty even now, that's a bit of a surprise. Maybe someone can like research it a little bit and let me know what's going on. Not for sale, like, or most of them were like, uh, yeah, people purchased them. Of course, some people maybe bought them to rent them out. That's, that's absolutely possible. But uh, I'm still very surprised. Probably run down oh. from what having a few Olympic athletes living in them for like two months. they sell it to the pub? Yeah, yeah, they sold them before the Olympics. So, uh, a really long time ago.
Yeah, I don't know if they need to renovate them after hosting the Olympians. That would be weird, but yeah, maybe. Maybe they were like converted into tiny studios and now they need to be like changed into proper family-sized apartments. That could maybe be the reason. Yeah, but I mean, if it was like that everybody just bought them for investments, like, I mean, it wouldn't be every single apartment would be empty. Like it's, it's to me, it's pretty clear that for some reason people have not been able to move in yet. Harumi Flag, is that, is that the same as the Olympic Village? I thought Harumi Flag was a different project. Is it the same? I don't know very well, but I thought Harumi Flag was like the, the opposite side of that island. Move-in date is delayed to 2024, wow. For them, they already paid a fortune for those apartments. So, can you see Tokyo Tower? Soon we should be able to see most of it. These streams, by the way, thank you, Sid VDP. Thank you so much. What's this? Was that a big piece of cheese? I wish. Then I would take a big bite. Didn't look that appetizing, though. the moon by the way I'm really impressed with the iPhone 14's camera it captures a lot of light and I'm even doing this stream in 60 FPS if I did it in 30 it would capture even more light Honestly, get so many photo session requests these days that I don't know how to deal with it. I get like one or two every day, which is very nice. People obviously like my photos, and uh, it's a good source of income too. But wow, I didn't expect it to be this crazy after this like almost three years of complete radio silence iPhone 14 you're so fancy of course of course I do everything to make my streams look good, as good as possible so that you my dear viewers can enjoy them as much as possible yeah yeah, I just got another request. Second one for today. Should be happy. I am. More money in my pocket. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm certainly not complaining about it. 
all the pent up desire and you got so many followers yeah but the thing is i mean i haven't even announced it here on on my youtube channel yet uh, that's the crazy part Yep, that's Tokyo Tower over there. Chris Long, thank you very much for the super chat. Thank you for the evening stream. Tokyo is so beautiful in the evening. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm happy that I decided to come here for tonight's stream. Or not, I didn't even decide to come here. You told me to go come here. Thank you, viewers. Yeah, I'm so glad we came here rather than just another walk through Marunouchi and up to Akihabara. This is much nicer so quiet and peaceful everywhere and here we have something looks like i could have is this the barbecue place oh, i'm so hungry now damn it check the map by the way maybe I should actually turn here mm, in order to yeah I should I should I should go up here and cross this bridge in order to get closer to Odaiba battery is down to 25 percent let's hope that we sorry to bother it's like 5 a.m in Tokyo no it's uh 6 30 in the evening and uh, 15 degrees 14 degrees sorry 14. it's it's comfortable i think you're very close to the barbecue place yeah is this the barbecue place maybe it is What does it say? Kirana Resort. Oh, they are playing some music that could potentially be problematic. So I'm not gonna go anywhere close to that place. Stream until the battery dies. Yeah, I just hope I can reach Odaiba before that happens. Should be okay, I think. Oh, here we have some Aussie beef. Perfect. But the rest of us who just want the good old sad kombini dinner. Can we also get our needs met somewhere around here? Two hours and 41 minutes. This turned out to be a long stream. 
and we're still at least half an hour away from the goal. Somewhat sad playground. Next. It has ocean views, which makes up for a bit of the sadness. Which one would you prefer to be recognized as a photographer or a YouTuber? Photographer. Photographer. I mean, that's, that's what I've been dedica dedicating my entire life to this far. YouTube is, YouTube is fun, but I don't know. There's still something about the word YouTuber that gives me a bit of a sour taste in my mouth. Whereas like photographer sounds like that's something positive and something that I want to be associated with. Actually, my business card says both. It says both photographer and YouTuber. I was almost about to show you my business cards, but then I realized there's no way for me to do that without also revealing a bunch of personal information. So uh, I won't do that. Thank you, Ray. Wow, Famichiki. Okay, that's, that's what I will have for dinner then. Let's get some Famichiki. Or is it okay if I get, if it's some other kombini chain as well? Does it have to be Famichiki? What's this place? Carry around some business cards now. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I mean, I've been carrying around business cards for most of the time. I just didn't used to have them in my streaming bag before, but. Uh, there's actually been quite a few occasions where I wish I I had some accessible when I've been out streaming. So yeah, now I have them with me. Just cover the name part with fingers. Yeah, but then there's like my phone number and email and website and suddenly I don't have enough fingers to cover it all. Where are we at? We are working our way towards Odaiba. Odaiba is over there. That's the Rainbow Bridge over there. We are probably in Toyosu right now. I think Toyosu is the nearest major station. Fujimibashi. Fujimibashi. So from here we should be able to see Mount Fuji. At least that's the name of the bridge. Fujimi. Maybe, maybe it was possible to see it before they built the rainbow bridge and all that. I don't know. Is it normal in Japan to have business cards with you all the time? Yes, it is. Pretty much. Or at least every time, all the time when you're uh, working, you always have business cards. They're super important here. たくさん歩きましたね。そうね。今日は結構結構歩きましたね。思ったより歩いたね。何歩かな。Oh, great. We just passed 20,000 steps. 15k. Ah, isn't the norm. Oh, sorry, I didn't read your question correctly. Yes, it is the norm. It is the norm. But then again, like I have I have business cards always in my photography bag, 
which is you know what I always carry when I'm out working but I didn't used to have my business cards in the streaming bag but now I do Cheese recording stream length. Oh, it's we're no we're nowhere near. I've done four plus hours. I think the longest one I did was just before I left Japan. I did one with uh, Daniel and Yuka. They joined me halfway into the stream. Um, I think that was the longest one in terms of uh, time. I think that was like four hours or something. It's a pretty long one. We're, st we're still not even at three hours yet. Young Alang, thank you. Additional sad convenient dinner fund. Wow, thank you. Very nice of you. Now I can have a pretty, like now I can really indulge in the sadness. I can get so many sad convenient products and, uh, and have those for dinner. Wonderful. Seventeen minutes to the beach. Okay, twenty-one percent battery. It really feels like once the battery goes down, it drains faster. Like in the beginning, one percent of battery is like I don't know five minutes. Now it's more like one percent of battery is like one minute. But I do have a I do have a battery with me, so I could. I could actually plug in the phone if I need to. Your business cards just have a simple design on them. Uh, yeah, they're very simple. They're very simple. I, I think I, I put maybe five minutes. Uh, I have the logo. Like I have the, the, the channel. No, it's not the channel logo actually. It's another logo that I had. I have a friend who's a graphic designer who made a logo for an old blog that I used to have 10 years ago, which is not around anymore. But I reused that logo because that logo is very nice, actually. I can show you the logo. Show you the logo, at least. That should be quite easy to cover up the rest. So yeah, here's the logo. That's the logo. It's quite nice. Um, so I have that on my card. Yeah, we're at a sad community three-course dinner now. Exactly. At least three courses, maybe more. wild to think that there's a ton of people actually living around here like I mean look at this massive residential building I wonder how many hundred apartments it's just in that one tower and then there's like several of them I think I saw that logo somewhere before yeah maybe maybe I've used it on a few different things throughout the years so your name's initial on that love that that's that's fine that's fine as i've mentioned previously i don't think my name is gonna be secret for that much longer actually we'll see i'm still debating how to deal with that but uh, i do want to share my my website with the rest of you and I want to share my game with all of you and doing either of those things would also mean revealing my name so Okay, 
uh, oh, okay, I'm actually closer to Odaiba than I thought. And then there's a family mart just next to Odaiba Beach. Perfect. So, I guess tonight's stream will end with me having fami chicken at Odaiba Beach together with all of you. You want that game, Justin. Yeah, you do, right? You do want that game. I can't wait to share it with you. It's coming super soon. If I should show you the, the game here and now. Maybe when we sit down by the beach I can show it to you. I've already showed it to my Patreon supporters. Of course. I always share everything first with my Patreon supporters, just so you know. So if you are on the fence and you're a long time viewer of my channel, you should really consider joining me there because I think you will enjoy those little extra bonuses and perks that you will get out of it. And if you don't, you can just leave. Simple as that. Yeah, game audio reveal, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, maybe let's do that let's do a little game preview once we reach the beach as well I think I can show you at least a bit of the gameplay it's a music game uh, for those of you who didn't know it's a music game that was originally designed and released 10 years ago and now we are doing a re-release of it for um, uh, for uh, Android. The original one was only available for iPhones back in the days. And Yenny, wow, I think it's time for you to swing the hammer. Yeah, Lucy, too bad. I don't think I had any cards with me. I actually looked for it at that time, but that's when I decided I should always have a few in my, in my, in my uh, bag when I met you and I was unable to give you one. Ginza Tsukishima Harumi Odaiba. Yeah, that'll be it. I don't think I will walk much further after Odaiba. And I will most likely stream again tomorrow, by the way, just so you know. Probably not as ambitious as today, but uh, there will be another stream tomorrow afternoon or evening as well. This is the last bridge, then we will reach Odaiba. Will we see Unicorn Gundam? Is that thing still in Odaiba? I think they moved it. Isn't it in Yokohama now? 
Or did they have two? Is it Tokyo or they have Christmas illuminations? Not sure. There are a few illuminations, I think, but I'm not sure if it's like the Christmas ones or something else. Definitely got my steps in today for sure. I've actually been out constantly since 10 o'clock this morning. So that's like what, nine hours since I left my home this morning. Yeah, I think they moved that Gundam to the like so-called Gundam factory they have in Yokohama now. Or is that just a new one? I don't know. I really don't care much about Gundam, so I don't know. It's closed for maintenance, okay. Gundams need their maintenance, I guess. I think for people who are into infrastructure, I think Bodaiba is really cool. You have like the Eureka Mome, you have so many elevated expressways, you have like underground highways, you have an entire island built on man-made land and uh, all these like high rises you have the airport relatively nearby so lots of low flying airplanes here's one just taking off from Haneda well Daiba is pretty cool in that sense and you have a triangle in the water Next time when we visit you, you will give me your card. Absolutely, Lucy. Absolutely. I really look forward to seeing you again in 2023. You and your lovely husband. And hopefully your... some other family members as well. Here's the touristy sightseeing bus. Maybe I should take that back, back to the city center after this stream. Good thing that we are approaching the end because my bladder just told me that, hey, I exist. Don't forget about me. by the freeway because I'm walking to Odaiba walking to Odaiba lots of big streets around here but now I'm finally technically on Odaiba on Odaiba Island or Daiba as I think is the actual proper name of the land That's a nice thumbnail picture. Let's see if I can capture this with my other camera. Where is this? Odaiba! 
almost. I walked from Ginza to Odaiba. Now I'm really close to Odaiba Beach. And I'm on 15% battery. The plane just taking off from Haneda. Have you ever spent time in beach cities or surf cities? Ah, uh, not so much, I guess. I mean, I've been to a few surf cities and beaches, uh, but yeah, never really got involved with the local culture there. Yes, Hilda. I met with Lee when he was here a couple of weeks ago. Very nice guy. Wish I would have had time to hang out with him more, but unfortunately, I'm busy. My schedule is quite busy these days. So I think the beach is just down here, actually. There's a Lawson, but I think Google said there's supposed to be a family mart too, uh, somewhere around here. And since I'm supposed to have Famichiki. Oh yeah, there's a family mart on the other side of the street. Perfect. So uh, family mart dinner coming up now. <laughs> Famichiki. Famichiki and I need something else too. Famichiki is not enough. What else should we have? I need something substantial after this long walk. Maybe... Hmm. Oh, Lee, thank you very much. Super chat for sponsoring my dinner. Hmm. Uh, selection is not too impressive actually. What's this? Oh, it's a uh, seaweed bento.
some of these. Premium sour liqueur. Uh, orange punch. No, definitely not a seven percent, not a nine percent even. Sangria. Uh, mm. I'm really having a hard time deciding what to drink. Three course dinner, two different kinds of famichiki and the bento and the beer. Perfect. We're ten percent battery. Ten percent battery. Wow. Dinner for nine dollars. Yeah including a beer. In Sweden you would only get the beer for that. For that kind of money. No, that's not true. If you if you went to like the liquor shop it would not be that expensive. But if you bought a beer out at like a bar or restaurant, yeah, then it would be pretty much then my entire dinner budget. What's happening here? Something's definitely happening. and the Statue of Liberty. Well, the Statue of Liberty is like on the opposite side. I don't know if you can see it from here. It's, it's actually quite, quite far from where I am right now. I don't think I'm gonna walk all the way down there. My battery won't, won't allow for that. But uh, yeah, definitely. They're popping all the balloons.
sorry, I was just sending my wife a message that I made it all the way to Odaiba. So here's, for those of you who didn't know, here's like the most central beach in Tokyo. It's actually, you can't really see it because it's pitch black, but th this is a beach. It's a sandy beach. However, you're not allowed to swim in the water here because it's apparently too uh, unhealthy, too, too polluted. But yeah, I think I will just sit down here and watch the, watch the scenery and enjoy my sad little lunch and enjoy the fact that we made it. Thank you everybody for joining me all the way here. I think we wanna we wanna have the rainbow bridge view, right? My voice is so annoying. My other phone is showing the stream. I hate my own voice. Uh, anyway, let's let's have dinner and uh, wrap things up. I also promised a little demo of my game, so let's do that. Maybe we should start with that before. see something. I think you can. Yeah, so here's my game. Yay! Here's the song select screen. Here's you pick the song. Uh, and the songs everything is very old. This is like like I said it's ten years ago since we made this. Uh, and then, uh, so I will play a song. Oh my God, it's, it's uh, out of sync. I've synced this for my headphones. So it's like unplayable now because it's not actually synced. Yeah, sorry, that's all you're gonna see because I, I'm not gonna go through the whole process of resyncing it. That's a bit of a pain. But uh, that's what it looks like. It's a music game, very old school, but I think the gameplay is extremely solid. So if you are fans of music games, you should actually enjoy my game because I think it's one of the best music games ever made. However, I'm slightly biased, uh, obviously. <laughs> Uh, and yes, the music is licensed, of course. We we all have we have permissions to use all those songs. So let's uh, famichiki. famichiki. Thank you, Ray, and thank you, Lee, for contributing to my very unhealthy dinner tonight. It's so dark here. Yay, famichiki and Rainbow Bridge. Yes, Hilda, I made that game. Well, I mean, I did not program it. I'm not a programmer. But it together with a friend who is a programmer and uh, also a fan of music games. So we made it together. 8% battery, seven. To three percent. I also really hope that the music over here won't cause me any problems later. I doubt it, but you never know.
If this game is successful, will you make another game? Yes. Yes. Um, that's kind of my, my, what I want to do. That's why we kind of revived this whole project. Because we kind of want to remake the game, but first we need to see if people actually still enjoy it. So we started by re-releasing this, the previous one. Mm. And we'll see. Battery seems to die faster than the S21 Ultra. Yes, it does. Mm, but that's because now I'm streaming in 60 frames per second. Then the battery drains faster. If I'm using the same settings as I did when I was streaming with my S21, pretty much the same. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's open this macro. Bento. Wow, it's really so dark, you can't see much. And also the signal here is super weak as well. So it's not the epic end of the stream I would hope that this would be, but can't have everything. And right now I prioritize to satisfy my hunger higher than I prioritize satisfying my viewers with pristine image quality so I will just stay here and don't mind the fact that the signal is weak and instead I will just enjoy my my uh, chunk of mackerel which I just keep failing to pick up with my chopsticks I'll just do it like this instead, but you can't see it because it's too dark. Oh, <coughs> Zanna. Love the view. Where are you now? I'm on, I'm at Odaiba, Odaiba Bridge. Here's the rainbow bridge for you to enjoy while I enjoy my macro. I think personally, I think macro is much more enjoyable than the rainbow bridge but that's just me. I could plug in the battery, yeah, but then I would have the problem of figuring out when to end the stream. If I just decide that I end it once the battery reaches 3%, then I don't need to worry about that problem. So, I think I'll go for that. I streamed for a long time today. I'll just head home after this anyway. But yeah, like I said, there will be another stream tomorrow. Uh, probably not as long and epic as today's stream, but um, yeah. I was just joking. I like the Rainbow Bridge. It's nice. It's nice. It's just that right now I'm so incredibly hungry, so I'm just stuffing myself full with this junk food from the Combini. But I like Odaiba. It's every time I come here, I just. It makes me happy to be here. Views are nice. Well, once again, if you do enjoy my streams and if you want to support the channel, join me on Patreon. Then you will get access to many of the photos that I took during tonight's stream as well. You will get them in high resolution, so you can use them as wallpapers or whatever. So, um, yeah. The link to my Patreon is in the video's description. Will you be walking home? <laughs> No, I wonder how many hours walk it would be to walk home from here. No, I will take the train. And I think it would take like an hour to go home by train from here too, because train access to Odaiba isn't exactly amazing. Um, anyway, 
we just hit three percent battery so that will be the end of today's stream thank you so much for joining me hope you enjoyed this walk i had a great time hope you did as well and um, as always i will post on twitter and on patreon as soon as i decide the time for tomorrow's stream but i think it will be around three o'clock in the afternoon japanese time so about a little bit earlier maybe than today but in the same kind of time slot but uh, yeah i'll let you know as soon as i know but that's it for today thank you so much so much and uh, see you next time yeah over there is the dinner boats the yakatabune those things over there anyway it's been great thank you so much bye bye hey do auf wiedersehen und matane